I want to provoke you, you know, for a quick flashback. Uh, uh, just, uh, would you please tell me uh, why and when you decide to join the OpenStack community? Uh, we as Ericsson decided to join the OpenStack community a little bit over three years ago. Uh, and uh, we did that for the reason that software is extremely important for us. Uh, what many people don't know is that we are the fifth largest software vendor in the world. So both the applications, the software and the applications, as well as the platform is extremely important for us. And uh, when we looked into this, we saw that the open source was something that was here to stay. And that's an important component uh, for, for our strategy going forward. So there we felt that the natural choice was to, uh, to join OpenStack, which we uh, yeah, we became a gold member in, um, a little bit over two years ago. Uh, for you personally, is it the first or OpenStack Summit that you uh, visited? Uh, this is my second OpenStack Summit for me personally. This is your second OpenStack yeah. Summit. Uh, so the first one was in Paris. Correct. What was changed between uh, Paris and Vancouver from your perspective? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, I think one of the things that has really encouraged me in this conference is that in, in Paris, I mean, there were a lot of people there, uh, it was a lot of momentum, but when you saw the amount of real deployments, large-scale deployments, it was not that many. We had CERN as a very good example, but it was a feeling of that this was still not really happening large-scale. What I think has changed with this conference is that here we see that uh, there are many uh, large-scale deployments happening. So we have gone from sort of this is something that just a few few early ones will, will adapt large scale to to larger mass, and that's of course extremely uh, encouraging. Uh, was there anything that uh, impressed you from the technological point of view uh, within this conference? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the thing that's impressed me now, I mean, uh, I think many people have associated uh, this conference uh, towards being sort of virtualization, hype of its virt virtualization. Now we're seeing that this is also becoming containers, it's also becoming uh, uh, bare metal, and I think that's something that I think is a, a very interesting technology trend that is actually embracing this full, uh, this full set of deployment. Yes, but uh, containers are already mainstream. Uh, but uh, what do you think will, will be the mainstream uh, in next six months? Uh, what will uh, find um, uh, joining the uh, summit in Tokyo? Mainstream, I think one thing that is coming, where we saw the starting point, and I think that was shown in, in one of the demos, and that was actually that you were using multiple clouds. I think the demo uh, where you had uh, a Google Cloud as well as a Rackscale Cloud and you're showing through Kubernetes then that you had sort of common deployment, uh, deployment model. I think the demo that failed uh, showed that it was also in, in the very early stages of what we're doing. I think this is something that we will see maturing because I think the, the success of OpenStack uh, will depend a lot on that we, we are actually having the possibility to exist in and together with other clouds. Uh, not, because everything will not be open stack. So it's very important to get it to work in a multiple cloud environment. And we are in the early stages, but I think this is something that I really would like to see mature towards the next summit. I mean, the, the key thing is, of course, when we see all these 6,000 people here starting to deploy it. I mean, we saw evidence of a number. I think it's all about getting sort of adoption. I think the adoption will, will create the success. Uh, and of course, I mean, the most interesting thing would be to, to see when are everyone within this audience actually going uh, uh, production grade big scale. I think one thing that we are very proud of that we showed within this one uh, is actually, and, and that's a little bit too, back to the problem what I'm seeing going forward, is this multiple cloud uh, solutions that we actually showed a demo where we had orchestration working across uh, uh, Google Cloud, across Amazon Cloud, across OpenStack Cloud, of course. I mean, that's a cornerstone of this. And actually showing this hybrid cloud OS across it. I think that is something that we are extremely proud of uh, to be able to show in a conference like this, because I think it's an important theme that very, very many other, uh, we will see very many, many variants about uh, going forward. Uh, uh, there are uh, a lot of different booths in, in the uh, booth zone, so uh, and uh, there are a lot of entertainments there. Uh, for example, in the Cisco booth, in Mirantis booth, 
um, uh, did you try some of the uh, entertainments um, uh, that offered to the participants? Unfortunately not. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, I've been so busy in meetings that I have not been spent enough time in the marketplace and not even going to, to, the, uh, to, the, uh, 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 to our own booth. Uh, I, tomorrow I will actually have quite some time off and then I'm going to be trying to, to do these kind of things but it's been an extremely busy conference for me.